We're always going to build on workers' rights, but we don't have any nefarious plan to go in and, and take over the world with this amendment. Workers deserve great protections, right? That's left, right? Everyone can agree on that. And if that was the only thing in this amendment, that would be a different discussion. But that's not how the politicians and government unions wrote this amendment. It gives government unions at that bargaining table unlimited power to demand whatever they want of taxpayer money, and politicians have no limits on what they can give away. We have to think about the other things that could be in these collective bargaining agreements, which would, if this passes, trump state law. So you could have collective bargaining agreements that say, we think this bargaining agreement should be secret. That would trump our Freedom of Information Act law. We could have a collective bargaining agreement that says we don't want background checks anymore on workers working with vulnerable populations, seniors, veterans, uh, people with disabilities. That would trump state law. Taxpayers have no voice in that conversation, and what this amendment would do is permanently lock them out of that. And that's going to show up in the tax bills of every single Illinoisan. We conservatively estimate that the typical homeowner is going to see a property tax increase of around $2,100 over the next four years if this were to pass. That is not something that Illinoisans can afford.